we'll take some questions now, but I just want to say one other, one last thing. We were begging to get these answers, as uh, the senator, myself, and Senator Borrello, and, and all my colleagues said. It took nine months to get the transparency necessary. Uh, after the AG said it was a 50% undercount, Judge Kimberly O'Connor, the Empire Center, I became an amicus brief with them, and we sued the governor of the state of New York. Do you remember what Judge uh, Kimberly O'Connor said? He broke and he violated the open government law, the FOIA law. He had to give us the numbers. Now, they gave us some numbers. But also, you know what he had to do? He had to pay the legal fees. He didn't pay the legal fees. You know why? He was indemnified. You know who paid the legal fees? The families of those who lost their lives and the 19 and a half million people. They paid the legal fees when we sued to try to get those numbers. So. We, we say to Commissioner uh, Bassett, we need transparency. That's what we're calling for here today. What happened, to the best of your knowledge, to your best of your ability, you're in the inside. You can talk to the people who are in those rooms. They may not have been the commissioner. They may not have been the governor, but they were listening. What was the mindset to lack that common sense to do something like that? And uh, we need the transparency to, to make that happen. So About a year ago, we were having a very similar version of this conversation, and I don't know who the person is to answer this, but at the time, the primary, the apex of justice for the conference was to have either Zucker removed or to have him resign. Now, most of this, well, just about all of it happened under his tenure, so what does the new version of justice as it relates to Howard Zucker specifically look like now that he's no longer running the Department of Health? Well, meet the new boss, same as the old boss to a certain extent. Okay, now she's not, uh, I appreciate the fact at the end, she said, well, if I'm forced to do something that's not in the best interest of my constituents, I'll say no or I'll resign. Well, that's nice and it's easy to say, but you haven't been faced with that like Commissioner Zucker was faced. And by the way, the New York Times was reporting, and I read a lot of those reports, that the governor was calling him out and saying, we follow the science. This is the science on that issue. Then he'd go back to DOH and the people who know the science and say, I want you to tell them this. And they said, we can't tell them that. That's not the science. And many resigned, okay? So what we want her to do is go back to those people who said that's not the science and get the information from them of what they felt about what the governor was telling them and actually what the science was and the ramifications of uh, them wanting to leave and them not wanting to follow the things he said with the science. Because, listen, a fourth grader doesn't have to prepare to know that if you have a serious disease that's contagious, you don't go running around people who are uh, most compromised and most literally affected by that and could lose their life and did. So... For Howard Zucker, in theory, to be at tomorrow's hearing, and would you say that the punishment phase, now that he's gone, is over for him, the, the individual? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. If he was enabling, and there's some inside people who say, well, this is what they were talking about, if there were political ramifications, if there are reasons why they lied and withheld uh, because they knew they were doing the wrong thing, and the wrong thing came to bite him back, and, and there was scheming. You, you know, we just need to know, okay? And uh, I think the AG report says a lot about what took place because 50% undercount, suggesting that these are hospital deaths. That defies logic. When you get a contagion somewhere that can kill you, and the hospital tries to save you and say, well, the hospital caused that death. No. Where the contagion took place is what counts. And you know what, Daryl? It's really about answers for these families. That's what they want. And if there was something illegal done, then you know what? Everybody should be held accountable that did it. And as all of you know, we I know I had spoken to the health commissioner. We had an idea for specialty care centers, step-down units, totally ignored. It wasn't until months later that they actually did something. So look at all of those families that were lost. But we don't want to make the same mistake going forward. You know, whenever there's a tragedy, airplane crash, whatever it is, there's a deep dive into an investigation and that has not happened here and that's what these families want you know they met with the governor in october i'm sure you saw it you know so the governor had stated and i can't quote her per se but she said you know 50 years from now we need to know what went wrong well the only way we're really all going to know what went wrong is if this happens this audit and that's why we put it into a bill so i, I thank you for being here today too Mm -hmm. was that she's going to have the most transparent administration mm -hmm. that New York has known 
do you think that she's being hypocritical or her health commissioners by default the administration being hypocritical mm -hmm. by not doing an investigation of the prior administration? I feel that an investigation should happen. I don't know if we, I don't, you know, the health commissioner was brand new, but I think she owes it to these families and the governor does as well. She said she was going to be transparent. She made that statement that we've all seen it. And that really, that needs to happen. So tomorrow we will be talking to the health commissioner and asking her these questions once again. And like I said on the floor, I hope she finds it in her heart to do the right thing for these families because that's what they deserve. In relationship to that, there's no, there's no saying the buck stops here. The buck really stops with uh, Andrew Cuomo. The buck stops with uh, uh, Governor Hochul, okay? I'm surprised that she hasn't asked for an investigation. She's not looking back so we can go forward. She's not looking at history so it doesn't repeat itself by not asking uh, Commissioner Bassett to do this full investigation. So truthfully, the buck stops with her, but I think the commissioner also has the opportunity to have the buck stop with her because she has the ability, I think, to do that investigation itself or a review, anything she wants to call it. And we're asking for us, her to do that, give it to us in 90 days and show us what the plan is to better protect our most vulnerable population. And what specifically are you looking for? Is it because you don't trust what the prior administration put out thus far and then what Hochul put up, you know, more data at the beginning? I think it was like August or September. Is it that you don't trust what's been put out and you just want a revamp of the whole thing or you think there's more information to come out? The, 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 we need a deep dive, right, Senator? The prior administration we lied by 50% of the real number. He wrote a book in the middle of all these deaths. He used his staff to write the book using our tax dollars. He got an Emmy, which he had to give back. I mean, my progressive friends really appreciate uh, Hollywood. They took the Emmy back. They realized what went wrong. That in and of yourself some says something smells bad. The fish is rotting. And we have to know what caused him to do all those things. If there was no problem with what he did, well, here are the numbers. and. Uh, this is why I did everything, what I did. But there's a lot of cover-up which took place. So as, as Sue says, so I think we need to go deeper. And the family members, as she said, deserve it. I agree with that. Yeah, they need closure. Right. They need closure. Yeah. When it comes to people across the aisle and in the other chamber, uh, Ron Kim is one of the people who has been an outspoken ally of efforts of this kind. Uh, where are the rest of the members of the chamber? I know it, it became... Um, popular in vote last year to call out the governor for various issues, but do you think, based on the fact that there are super majorities, that an effort like this can actually gain momentum if there are more Ron Kims out there? Well, I don't know about, you know, Ron Kim has been a huge advocate. I was with him in Brooklyn uh, at a nursing home rally with uh, people that have lost their loved ones, and Ron Kim's been a great advocate. Every member in the state Senate has a copy of these bills. So the proof is in the pudding. Let's see what's gonna happen, right? If they really care about seniors, then they would sign on to these bills and move them forward. Have any of them actually talked to any of you about the measures and support or? Well, well let me say that no. this is not a Republican or Democratic thing. No. When, when Zucker came in, everybody chastised him, everybody grilled him. Assemblyman Kim is doing a bill with me. He had a press conference with me and Janice Dean saying he wants my bill and his bill for an outside, independent, bipartisan uh, commission with subpoena power to do an investigation. I mean, that's a bill that's in print right now. Several, most of my members are on that bill here. He's a Republican, a Democrat, excuse me. I'm a Republican. They're all Republicans. There's some other members who are Democrats in there on the bill. So uh, I'm surprised at the fact that the head of the health committees and my colleagues on the other side of the aisle here who grilled the commissioner said, okay, you wouldn't answer our questions. You lied about, we had to, there's a lawsuit. We had to listen to the AG, but that's all we want to know about it. And we're all done right now. Uh, that doesn't strike me as individuals who want to get to the bottom of what caused all this for the family members. Because other than that, they've been silent since uh, the governor is gone. He's gone, so we don't want to worry about it anymore. Zucker's gone. Well, there's a future coming. And these things happen when the, we least expect them to happen, and we better have to be prepared. So we really know the real answers. We really have to know the real answers to what took place.